Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to use your tablet or smartphone as a remote for your Kodi. All you're going to need to do is go into the Play Store or iTunes, but I'm going to be showing you the Android way of doing it. You're going to want to go in there and you're going to want to download Yahtzee, Y-A-T-S-E, or you can download the official uh, Kodi app, which is K-O-R-E. But I personally really enjoy Yahtzee. It has a nice interface to it. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is enable Kodi to allow remote control connections. So we're going to go to System. We're going to go to Services. And we're going to go down here to Web Server. And now we're going to go to the right here where it says Allow Remote Control via HTTP. And we're just going to put the check mark there by hitting OK on your remote. Now, what we're also going to do, just in case, normally when you launch Yahtzee and you want to add a host, it's going to find your device as long as it's on the same network. And most people, in 99% of every scenario, you're on the same network. But sometimes it doesn't find it. So you'll just want to grab the IP of your Kodi device just in case you have to manually input it. So what we're going to do is under system, you'll see system info here. Just click on that, and to the right, just note down what the IP address of your device is. And mine is 192.168.1.149. So just note that, and now we'll just head over to the Play Store and download Yahtzee, and I will show you how to set it up quickly. Okay, so I have Yahtzee installed here, so I'm just going to click on Yahtzee here. And now when you log in, your login may look a bit different because um, you're probably getting a brand new install of it. But what you're going to do is you're going to click on add host. And then what you're going to do is you're going to do add host here at the top. And then just click this plus sign. And what you're going to do is you're going to choose where it says Kodi add running host. You click on that. And as you can see, it already found on the bottom of mine my Kodi box that's located in a different room. I'm looking at the, another Kodi box, which is the IP I mentioned earlier, 192.168.1.149. And as you can see, it doesn't seem to be detecting it. So we're gonna have to manually add our IP in here so we could connect. So this is gonna time out. So I'm just gonna hit skip here. And then see we're now we're gonna go to the bottom and we're gonna add in the IP address. Mine was 192.168.1.149. And we use the default port, which is going to be 8080. And we're just going to hit OK. And then we'll hit Add Host. And now you'll see that it's connected. You see it right here. So we're just going to click on it now. And now you'll have full control over. So I'm just going to switch over to my, my PC now to show you myself controlling it. Okay, so now we're back at the computer and I got my phone out here and now I'm going to be just controlling it. And as you can see, I'm just pressing left. Um, I'll hit OK. And there we go. Um, it's now being controlled off my mobile device. And if you have a, a good library, you can actually view, like if you have some local media and you have like movies, television shows, when you actually look on your mobile device through, through Yahtzee, you're going to see all the artwork there. You can see the progress of people watch, what they're watching. You can pause it for them. So I hope this video has been helpful showing you how to add a mobile phone, tablet to control your, your Kodi device because not all the time do you want to use your remote that came with it. Sometimes it's just not convenient. Sometimes you just can't find your remote. So if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe if you can, and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks.